I found this toilet by the plumbing store dumpster. One thing I find interesting about it is that they paired a water guard bowl with the 60s to 70s five gallon tank. And you don't see that every day. The flush valve, the tank bolts, and the tank-to-bowl gasket are the only original parts in this tank. This is a Wolverine brass fill valve. You typically see those installed by plumbers, and that one looks pretty new. It's also got a replacement handle and a replacement flapper. I also discovered in the box with this toilet that there were a bunch of these white American Standard Champion tools and these are used for tightening the nuts and they are very very convenient and I just now noticed that this one is longer than the other ones for, for, for whatever reason but I'll definitely be saving those. So this is definitely the 70s to 80s water guard bowl and the five gallon tank like I mentioned before. And this is what I like to call a transition model because they were working on a 3.5 gallon design at this time, but they also still sold the five gallon model. So what they did was instead of just introducing the 3.5 gallon Wellworth, they took the existing tank and put it on the 3.5 bowl, and then in 1977, I think, they introduced the 3.5 gallon tank. American Standard did the same thing in 1982, except they kept the 5 gallon Plebe bowl, but they used a 3.5 gallon 4083 tank instead of the 4049 tank that you typically see on older plebes and the cadets. So those didn't flush very well, and I'm definitely gonna give the W to Kohler on this one for making their transition model use the old tank and the new bowl rather than vice versa. So anyway, enough with my little lecture about that. Let's see how it flushes. As you would probably imagine, it has a lot more power and length to the flush compared to the 1977 to 1985 water guard model, and that is obviously because it is using 5 gallons instead of 3.5. So since this toilet was sold like this, yes, the tank and the bowl are exactly the same age, I'm going to do the tests with this 5 gallon tank and if I somehow come across a 3.5 gallon tank, I may also do tests on that, but I think that might be repetitive. So I guess if I come across one within the next week, maybe, or within the next couple days, I'll switch it out just so it's more accurate to the water guard design, but otherwise I'll just use this tank. So anyway, that is all for this video. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.
it's a very solid seat too. Bemis Duraguard. Not sure I've seen that before.